I've been thinking about the good times I've been sleeping through the long nights I've been shining in the sunlight I've been thinking how I'm alright There's a reason for my feelings There's a reason why I'm healing Yeah, I feel higher than the ceiling All because of you You and I are so sweet, so sweet Talk until we asleep, asleep Every night I fall deep, fall deep But love, yeah But you really get me, get me Make me fall to my knees, my knees Every night I fall deep, fall deep But love Welcome to my channel, yeah, yeah, welcome to my channel, yeah, yeah, like, subscribe, and share the video, God will bless you, welcome to my channel. <laughs> Direct translation. We're going to trample on the demons. Oh, yes, we are. Oh, yes, we are. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. This is your girl, Matabo Miss A. For those of you who don't know me, yep, I'm the girl, Matabo Miss A. You know, you know, you know, you know me now. Now you know me. Now you know me. Now you're gonna click that subscribe button that's somewhere on the screen. You're gonna be like and do that. You know what I mean? Hi everybody. <laughs> Welcome to yet another video. Um by my table Miss A. You know, guys, the drama I had off camera with setting up, like you guys will not believe what is happening right now. I just hope this phone won't heat up on me and I have to put it in the freezer because that's happened quite some quite more often than it shouldn't be happening. English, come back. I didn't borrow you. Yeah. Um, for those of you who are returning subscribers, welcome back. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for your support. Keep on sharing those videos. Keep on liking the videos. Guys, you guys are wondering now, what is this girl doing with a bonnet and a gown? And we are having... Um, we having a moment right now where I just couldn't wait to get on camera to tell you the news that I discovered. Like, I discovered news, guys. I discovered things now. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take a shower, brush my teeth, make some make some tea. Yep, the Metabo Miss A mug is back. And this video was proudly sponsored by Gentle B Lab. It's a beautiful, beautiful, stunning honey company that makes the most voracious honey in the world 100% raw fab tabulous with you know healing healing properties if you've got a sore throat and stuff like that but i will put um a picture up i will put the link down below to previous videos that speak more about the honey so yeah let's get into today's video so we might have new segments coming up on the channel let me know how you feel about these new segments that are that i'm thinking of bringing back to the channel um please don't mind the background noise load shedding and yeah we did a little inverter situation for the load shedding because well so that we could continue working at home at least um for those of you who don't know what load shedding is it's when the power goes off for four hours and then comes back for two hours and it goes again off for like two hours okay i'm exaggerating it does come back but like it goes off more than it comes back so we needed a plan b and the plan b is a bit noisy sounds like a fan or a anyway vacuum. yes i'm using my selfie camera today because i really do want to see myself it's very awkward to record and you can't see yourself so i'll probably be using the selfie cam a lot unless i'm vlogging i um, must just be careful not to do my palms because yeah my phone reads that as stopping the video anyway um Let's have our tea. I hope you guys have made your tea. I really just wanted to jump on here and talk to you guys about salvation being a process. Like, I literally make notes now 
in my little YouTube book, you know, I make notes on what I want to talk to you guys about because I believe it's very important for us to share these things together. And um, sometimes I'll be listening to a sermon or two and I'll be praying and the Holy Spirit will just tell me, you know what, girl, like this whole thing is a process and people don't don't really kind of like get it. So, mm, like most of us, we think, you know, you go to the altar of God and you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord, God and Savior, and then you go back to your normal life. But that's not really how it works. You know what I mean? Um, long story short, like when you have that day, like when you when you have the day where you are saved, you can't really just go back. You see, it's nice when I can see myself because I look right at you. Hello, can you see me? <laughs> yeah. Um instead of other yeah anyway so um we 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 tend to think of salvation as a, a thing of you accept uh our lord jesus christ as your savior at church you know and you were blessed and everything is going well but now you're back to your old life like mazati weekend you are partying or whatever i'm not judging this is not a channel where we judge please don't get me wrong i'm just trying to like convey the messages i get and i'm trying to convey the, the revelations that I get that make my life better. Um, yeah. Hey guys, I'm so sorry. My camera overheated. <laughs> anyway, um, so I put it in the freezer. But anyways, as I prophesied that I'm going to receive my Canon camera, it's coming in the name of Jesus. Um, so as I was saying about salvation, it is um, a process. It is not just a one day thing and then it's over. It's a process whereby you accept uh, Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior and you take your cross, meaning all the sinful bodily, fleshly desires, and you let it go. Like you let it go, you carry your cross and you give yourself to Jesus because he says in the book of Matthew that um, the one that spares their life, like, you know, like if you're trying to like, like, you, that's when you lose your life but if you give up your life for jesus and live a righteous life that's when you actually gain life which is very true because um salvation guys if it if it cuts and if this video comes out cut and cut and cut it's because after every five minutes i put my phone in the freezer <laughs> I'm trying. This is how important you guys are to me. I want to get this video out there. I want to get this content out there. Um, you guys are very important to me, and I need you guys to hear this. Um, so, by the way, this is the gown and bonnet and tea session by Matabomus A. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna call it yet, but it's a segment that will add to the channel. Uh, you guys can comment down below with names for the segment. All right, where we have really personal conversations like this um so what i learned that's about salvation personally is that salvation comes it's a it's a process that comes with a lot of sacrifice sacrifice of your selfish needs sacrificing your fleshly needs and desires and giving everything to god and it is also about loving god for who he is and not what he can do in your life you know you're not accepting jesus because he is able to turn your life around and turn you into a millionaire you're accepting him because he is able to love you back in a way that nobody else can love you back like in a way that nobody else can explain he's able to give you peace that transcends all understanding is it transcends or transcends or yeah all understanding right and we are at that point where we need to understand the difference because now you are expecting God to move in your life, but the process of you being saved did not really happen in your life. You didn't go sit down and get to know Jesus well. You didn't go and get to understand him. You just got saved and then you walked out the door and you still went to your old self. It, whereas when you get saved, you don't just walk out of the door and go back to your old life. You walk out of the door and step into the new life. You get to study the Bible more. You get to understand God more. You get to pray more. You know, you, 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 it's a process. 
it doesn't happen in a day it doesn't happen overnight you know i have been born again since i i could remember like i was born into a, a praying family and i've been taught about god since i was a little kid but because there was a part of my life whereby i didn't live a righteous life i n- never really got to see god work miracles in my life i got to see him save me because he knew that the day where i would come back and be like ah but i've been doing this wrong lord he knew the day would come so he kept on saving me in situations that i didn't even realize he was saving me because i didn't pay attention to him saving me and um you need to come to a place where you start acknowledging god in your everyday life you start acknowledging jesus in your everyday life and you know you start renewing the vows you know how married couples will always be like yeah i'm gonna renew my vows you also renew your vows just the other day i accepted jesus christ as my lord and savior again because it's a renewal of the vows it is a relationship we gotta we gotta make it squeaky clean renew the vows and um there is power in those renewal of the vows there is so much power because once again out of your own love for jesus you're coming to him and you're accepting him again and now it even means more to him because you understand really you understand what he's done for you on the cross it's not just something that people are preaching and you're just taking it and you're like okay then i can do this too no you personally understand what he did on you for you on the cross because you saw him in a time of your life where you were not even paying attention to him and that makes you love him more than you can even explain like salvation means loving god so much that even when your life is going south you still tell him that you love him you know that he's got the power to turn your life around like this in seconds you know he can do it you know he's got the power to establish himself in your life you know that he's got the power to literally just stretch out his hand and tell the mountain in your life to move and also you know he's given you the power to do that but somehow the mountains are not moving the situation is not changing and this is where salvation comes in because now you've built this relationship with god that even though those mountains are not moving in that time you can still come back and be like you are the apple of my eye lord jesus oh i love you and this is something i've experienced the day i took time to really be saved to really understand what god wants from me and it's a struggle i'm not perfect i do make mistakes like i really do make mistakes but here's the beauty of being saved in those mistakes the holy spirit is constantly there to convict you the holy spirit is constantly there to guide you the holy spirit may come in the form of a little voice in your head the holy spirit may come in the form of someone else saying no Mia. the holy spirit may come in the form of me in this video The Holy Spirit may come in the form of you reading something. You know, wherever you go, the Holy Spirit is there. He is in here. So when you are really living that process of salvation, you get to experience that little bit of conviction, if not even little, that lot a bit, that lot a bit of conviction whenever you make a mistake and you quickly come back and you're like, oh, Lord, I love you too much to let that come in between us. You know what I mean? So I want to advise you guys today. I love you. I want to advise you guys today that let salvation be a process in your life. Don't just be saved and then sit back and relax it. And then when things go wrong, you're like, ah, God doesn't love me. God loves you. God loves everyone. He created us in his likeness. He created us in his image, guys. Our main purpose is to praise him and to worship him. Our main purpose is to give our lives to him. And you know what? Christianity is not as boring as it seems. Christianity is not as annoying as people make it seem. It's actually quite fun because you become a better person. You carry the identity of Christ and that makes you a better person you do things better you help people more you become so loved and so appreciated and you end up sitting back and like god is this me yeah it's you because christ is in you so guys salvation is a process and it it, 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 there's another video that i will put out 
next week or by the end of this week that will delve a little bit deeper into how salvation is a process in terms of the mind and the body like i will do that that's a whole video on its own <laughs> it's crazy but what i want to advise you guys today what i want to advise you guys this morning as we're having our cup of tea i don't know when you're gonna see this video so i guess it's good morning good evening good afternoon good good night whenever you watch it but i will edit it today i would like to post it in real time um yeah so excuse me so what i want you guys to take home from this video is that being saved is not a one day thing being saved is a process being saved is you seeking god being saved is you understanding that you have to let go of earthly things and fleshly things and you have to come into what god has planned for you he's a mysterious god you won't always know what he's got planned <laughs> you will not always know what he's got planned but when you let him in he will let you in you'll know at least most of it you know and he will give you a vision um, so I encourage you guys because I love you so much and I want you guys to have the best life possible in this world. And I, I, I'm not saying that when you, when you are saved, please pass car. Thank you. <laughs> My eyes just caught this car and I was like, yeah, I'm not saying that when you're saved, things are going to be great and like, obvious, like, obviously they're going to be great, but I'm not saying there's not going to be challenges. There are going to be challenges. There are going to be, you know, trials and tribulations. But the book of Psalms says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord. Now, in order to get to that point of saying, but the Lord, you also have to get to a point of saying to yourself in tempting situations you also need to get to a point where you can say ah this is tempting but the lord is my first love so i ain't doing it nope 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 move along satan you know and 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 that's when he will look down from his heavenly throne and he will find favor in you and he'll be like i that's my child wait stop 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 it that's my daughter that's my son um god is our heavenly father he will not give us stone when we ask for bread or a rock when we ask for bread he will not give us a snake when we ask for fish um so i just really want to encourage you guys to start the process you know even if it's one one eh, eh, not chapter one verse a day start the process of really understanding this whole salvation thing because once you do that you are going to start understanding your purpose you're going to un start understanding yeah okay guys so my camera has been overheating up i think i'm going to end this video here um i think i said what needed to be said if i missed anything uh please comment down below if you have anything to add please comment down below um, also be on the lookout for the next video called body versus mind which is gonna delve deeper into the whole process of um, being saved and the warfare of of it all because it's not easy it's really not easy um, however we got this and we're doing this together we're doing this with God he's got us and he'll never leave us his plans for us are to give us hope and prosper us they are not to fail us especially not when we are holding on to him remember this day whatever you're going through that there is hope whatever you're going through don't be discouraged i know it's easier said than done um remember to just have faith as small as a mustard seed jesus said you can move mountains with faith as small as a mustard seed so on that note I am going to love and leave you before my phone heats up again. I'm going to love and leave you and I'm going to say God bless you till we meet again. Love you so, so, so much. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for showing me so much love on this channel. I really appreciate it. Um, anything you want me to talk about, anything you want me to pray about, I'm with you. This segment will be specifically for that. It will be a personal segment, hence the gown and PJs and tea. It will be a segment where we can pray together. We can talk about things that you want me to talk about. 
and I can also share like moments with you guys that I'm experiencing, you know what I mean? Because we are humble, open and transparent on this channel and we are blessed to be here um, with our heating up cameras and everything. <laughs> we are still blessed. I love you guys to the moon and back and wow, you guys, God bless you. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you so much for the shares, the views, the likes. Let's get this channel growing, guys, so that I can buy my camera. Okay, yes. Or you guys can sponsor the camera. It's fine. Okay. I'll just pray extra hard for you that God blesses you. <laughs> Love you so much. Mata, Miss A. Welcome to my channel.